through the field, he'll be up there, and we should have a good battle for those two. No, it's going to be a good battle. I can't wait to see. It's going to be. This is going to be, be one of the most exciting races of the season for sure. Sure. I can say it's probably going to be one of the most exciting races in Gross M G, or let's just say GV8 history. That's for sure. Um, as this is the first time the GV8 will visit Bathurst, so really looking forward to seeing what happens, what unfolds. It's going to be just an exciting event we're gonna have you know anytime you have an endurance race it's exciting but when you bring it to Bathurst it's on a whole nother level especially when it's the first time a league has been there that makes it even more so I mean I'm so excited I just can't wait um, but I thought you guys put on a really good job with this shootout I didn't know what to expect um, you know, and the first time you run something, especially something that you're not used to, you know, we run races every week, and we know how to run races, but to do something like this shootout, you guys did a really good job putting it on for us, and uh, gave us one heck of a show, we got to see a little bit of it all, we want to thank Kyle Heron, and unfortunately he got in a little bit of a, um, a mix up there, a little bit of a kiss the wall a little too hard there on, uh, on his outlap. But gave us some action, and uh, you got to have it all, unfortunately. But we appreciate everything you guys did in this shootout. Y'all did a really good job putting it on for us. It was very organized. So y'all should get a pat on the back for that. Yeah, don't forget about Jim Egan. Jim Egan, seventh place starting grid. That's going to be a great spot for you to start, Jim. You got to be excited about seventh place starting. Uh, yeah, no, I really am. Uh, like I said, uh, like I said in the shootout, uh, that was a personal best for me, and uh, I'm just happy to start in the top ten. We'll see if it. We'll see if I can uh, stay there for the race. It's going to be a long one, so you never know. It is going to be a long race. It is going to be a long race. That's my thing, and and I don't know, uh, Jim, what what kind of plan. Can you bring to this this race on Monday? I mean, what 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 can you what kind of strategy can you play here? Do you run hard from the from the get go, or do you think you kind of hold back and kind of just stay out of trouble as late as you can until you get near about the last ten laps to cut loose? Or what you know what what will you be doing here on Monday? Uh, you know, I'm gonna do what what uh, what my dad always told me about racing was keep it on the black part and shiny side up. Um, so that's that's my basic strategy every week. Um, but as far as Smart anything else, man, Jim. yeah. As far as anything else, uh, I may play with fuel strategy. We'll see. Uh, I don't know how many uh, pit stops we're thinking we're going to make, but uh, maybe see if I can get off off sequence a little bit and see where it goes from there. I like that, Jim. I like I like seeing you do that. I remember watching a race not too long ago. I believe we were we at Oren Park, Kane. Where Jim stayed out, he was the last car to pit, he got the lead a lap, and it could have played heavily in your favor. And you actually, I want to say you finished pretty well that week. So I like I like going against the uh, the field and, and getting off sequence and seeing what can happen because you never know when you can catch a break and it can it can put you really high up there. So I like to see that Jim, and, and glad you had such a great job qualifying, man. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, guys. Oh, 100%. Glenn Sidman, uh, I believe you're here with us as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I wasn't here earlier. Oh, no, no, quite all right. No, we were we were watching you. Did a, did a good job qualifying. What were your what was your thoughts on your qualifying run there? Uh, you know, it was quite nerve-wracking. Um, I couldn't seem to get my thoughts together on the outlap, so I was even more nervous. But uh, my lap overall, I was pretty happy with it, um, except I scraped the wall and, and negated my time. So yeah. we'll see how that works out. Yeah, man, Kane saw you saw you scrape up a little bit of uh, dust there off the wall, but you know what? You bounced off that thing and kept going, and, and you seemed to really do a good job bouncing back off of that. You seemed like it, you didn't let it bother you at all and ended up putting down a really good time. So um, looking forward to seeing you run on Monday. I think you can do very well here. Um, I don't, you know, this is your this is your first endurance race with Grossim, I believe. I don't. This is your first time, right? Oh, that's correct. Yeah, it'll be my first Bathurst race too. 
Well, my goodness, that makes an even better storyline. Thanks a lot, Glenn. Uh, really glad talking to you, buddy, and great luck to Monday. Thanks, guys. And we got to talk to Nigel Baines at the end there. He ran the final lap in the in the shootout and ended up getting so, so close to, to Martin Carroll talking about, can, what was it, two-tenths different? Three-tenths different. Three-tenths differential between Martin Carroll and Nigel Baines. Uh, guys, that's very close on a four-mile circuit. I mean, just think about that for a second. So, congratulations once again, Martin, on getting the pole here in the shootout. You still there, Martin? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, no, thank you very much. It was, uh, it was uh, that's what I enjoy about the shootout. Uh, all the, all your week's preparation comes down to focusing for that one flying lap and not making a mistake. And uh, I was lucky enough to scrape it tonight. Yeah, and it leaves it all yeah, up to you. There, you know, you either, there's no risk from other cars. You know, if you fail at it, it's kind of all your fault, and you don't have to worry about someone else taking you. <laughs> It's definitely a high risk and reward, especially around here at the, uh, the mountain. And, and just because you, like Kane just said, you know, you kind of write your own destiny starting on the pole. I don't want to throw you, you know, throw you out there. You can give us a complete lie on your strategy. I know some drivers like to keep it a complete secret, but what is, what, what is something that, what's a kind of a strategy that you plan on running? And that can completely change on race day, but. Just considering, what would what what would you do starting from the pole? How do you attack uh, this? Well, I do get the advantage starting on the pole, and I'm I'm sure I'm going to have Nigel and Greg uh, pushing me hard. So fuel consumption is going to be the key. Uh, just with um, some fuel runs uh, in practice, you're looking at about 16 or 17 laps of the fuel. So your fuel window is very narrow. Uh, with your 31 laps, so it's going to be tricky. I'm not quite sure yet. Well, thank you very much, Marty. We look, really, really look forward to uh, seeing you Monday, buddy. Congratulations on that poll. Yeah, looking forward to the race. I was uh, excited for a couple of days coming into the shootout. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Monday. And that's our poll, uh, poll position, Martin Carroll. Nigel Baines, uh coming so close to getting on the pole but you are on the outside pole buddy what is something we can look for you on starting on the outside pole um i think pretty much like marty was saying there with the fuel side of things it's it, it can't really be too much of a strategy unfortunately um we have a, a two or three lap pit window probably so just hopefully get a clean start and stay out of trouble uh keep it off the walls really and uh see how the race pans out from there And that sounds good, man. I, that's a perfect plan to me, Nigel. And want to give you another shout out on the uh, livery this week. It looks <laughs> really good. It's coming along nicely. Yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll finish. I'll finish with it as it is there right now. I think uh, it's enough tinkering. It takes a lot of time this paint, and it kind of gets addictive too, right? So we're gonna put that yeah. one to bed and uh, run it as is, and uh, hopefully it'll bring us some more good luck. Yeah, I hope so, buddy. And you're saying we really do. We wish all you guys luck. Another good, uh, another good paint this week is uh, Greg Carr. Noticed up upgrade to the. I mean, an update. Excuse me to the uh, Can Am machine. It looked really good, buddy. Yeah, that's one the Can Am team ran quite a few seasons ago. And when I first got in the V8, I always saw that thing running around and kicking my butt. So I decided, hey, let's put it on and hopefully get some of the mojo those guys had when they ran it and hopefully it'll work out for me well definitely so I like it a lot especially that American flag there on the back of the other wing it looks good running so maybe if we get out if you if you get out in front we all can we'll all be watching that flag from behind so that'd be the best case scenario best case scenario for you my friend <laughs> we wish you luck Greg yeah thanks we'll uh I'll take the lead if it's there, of course, but I don't know, points, with 300 points you can get for a win, I'll kind of play a little conservative, but I don't know, if you're in the top five, you can't, laps come down, you can't play conservative, you gotta go for the win, so we'll see what happens, but 
Yep, hopefully we'll bring it home in one piece and keep it off the wall. So that's the plan so far. And that is our points leader, ladies and gentlemen, great car. Thanks a lot, buddy. Look forward to seeing you Monday. Another driver I really want to talk to is uh, Mario Gerard. I want to get back to you real quick, buddy. I want to ask you a question, and that is with a lot of the – you've ran some really good races this season. You've, uh, you've been very fast, but you've seemed to get caught up in a lot of the uh, unfortunate mistakes of racing this season. It's like you've had the bad, uh, bad end of the stick. Now, going into this race and just the craziness of it, what are some things you're gonna that you're gonna look for to try to stay out of trouble here? Uh, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> um, and that is a tough question. Well, yeah, uh, because uh, it depends on how the race is is evolving. Um, we'll see. Uh, on Monday, but uh, actually, you have to um, um, know how the race will start, and uh, everybody will uh, uh, will drive. You have to adapt, and and that's the main the main goal, I guess. I believe that's a really good point, Mario. Is that you're that's you said it perfect right there. Is you have to adapt to the situation. You know, we keep talking about how this is all new. This is new track new to the series it's you know it's our endurance race everything's new to this point for this season at Bathurst so I think the big key word in this entire endurance race will be who can adapt to the situation because it will be completely different from anything else we've ran thus far this season so I really like that answer a lot Mario thanks a lot buddy and thanks to all the drivers, really. Uh, we really appreciate every one of you stopping by. Chris Hogan, I want to give you one more shout-out before we leave, buddy. I know it was really a bummer, and Kyle Heron. But um, I, I really look for both of you guys to do very well here at the Mountain on Monday, okay? Thanks, mate. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll bounce back for sure. I look forward to you to do so, buddy. And... uh Kyle hearing you as well in the number 25 bud thank you one person I want to talk to that had a great uh, a great time and has got a a perfect starting position almost is well aside from the first spot but Jason Lundy in number five starting spot that's going to be a tremendous advantage Hey Kane, uh, yeah, I feel like uh, that is a good starting spot, um, just behind the really fast guys, and uh, hopefully we can uh, stay out of the trouble for the first few laps, keep the car clean and off the wall, and just have a, a good clean run to the finish. Um, like the other guy said, this race is going to be all about fuel mileage, and uh, I don't think there would be a whole lot of room for um, differing strategies. So uh, we're just going to focus on running clean, consistent laps and getting to the end. Yeah, I think the, you know, with as much chaos as I, I'm predicting we're going to see, I think just trying to avoid trouble, putting down good, clean laps, I think that's going to be the way to the front. Yeah, I, I, uh, I uh, definitely agree. Um, I'd like to thank all the drivers tonight uh, for joining. That was really fun. And uh, we definitely are going to look uh, to make this a, uh, a regular thing, at least for Bathurst. Good. Yeah, I think that, that's a good, uh, a good thing to make tradition because uh, that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to broadcast it. It was a lot of fun to watch it. And uh, it seems like the drivers had fun participating in it. Now, uh, <coughs> and we do want to thank you, too, for hosting it and putting it all on and doing all this strategizing to figure out how it's all going to work. Um, now we did see a couple drivers that went off or bumped the wall a little bit and uh, I was I thought I heard you say that you was going to go ahead and look and find their time and count it or you know I, I was trying to get clarity from you on how that was going to work the, the rule. Yeah once the uh, session ends I kind of goofed and I uh, 
I made the session too long, so it's still running right now, and I have no way to end it. Um, once it's over, I'll be able to see the race results and uh, see everybody's laps, even if they had an incident and it uh, canceled the lap. Um, so I'll be able to tell who ran what, and uh, we'll sort the grid using that. Okay. It's also on the broadcast, too, if you need it. It'll be right there. We posted everybody's laps as they happened. Okay, great. Thanks, Kane. Well, it's really good getting to talk to everybody. Um, thank everybody for coming out. I Like Kane just said and Jason just said, I really do hope this becomes a tradition here at Bathurst. But once again, thank all of our drivers for putting on such a wonderful show. And we really enjoyed this special event, this special broadcast here at Gross MTV. And guys, uh, all the anticipation is building up. Y'all get a good rest on Sunday. And we look forward to seeing you Monday here at the Mountain. And on behalf of uh, Gross MTV, we also want to thank Get30MX.com for, for sponsoring us all season long. They have been just tremendous in everything they've done for us and being a part of this broadcast team. So once again, let's thank Get30MX.com. I know all the drivers. So I really want to thank you all for your support as well with the sponsorship of this program. Uh, putting it on your car. Nigel noticed you added on to the back quarter panel of the Spotted Dog Cake. Uh, Ford Falcon there looks really good, buddy. But that's GetDirtyMX.com, guys. For any guy, all the viewers out there, go check them out. They're just an outstanding company. Um, they're not one of these big, huge, mega deal companies that runs away with all the money. They help help guys get started. They're, they're a really good company. Go check them out. They have excellent stuff on their website. But Thanks again to everybody. We really we might have oughta, enjoyed everything. Okay. Might ought to mention that uh, the winner of Bathurst is going to get a Get Dirty t-shirt. Oh, that's right. The winner of Bathurst will get a GetBMX.com t-shirt. And might say they're mighty snazzy. And they'll be looking good driving in their Get Dirty t-shirt. Heck so yeah. we want to thank them for that as well. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you very much. This is uh, Grass MTV. Uh, J.D. Smith, and alongside me is Kane Craft. We've been holding it down up here in the booth and really enjoyed this special broadcast of the shootout for Bathurst on Monday. And we will be coming to you live, guys, Monday for a very, very special broadcast for this, for this uh, event. Kane Craft has put an extra bit of work into it. He's really done such a great job getting this thing ready for us on Monday. So, really look forward to coming to you live on Monday. Kane, anything else you want to add out there before we close this tonight? I don't. I just want to say good job to everybody. Uh, great job putting down those laps. I know it was nerve-wracking, but you guys did a fantastic job. It made for a great broadcast, and uh, can't wait till Monday. Well, you heard it right there from Kane Craft, ladies and gentlemen. The anticipation is built, and congratulations special goes out to Martin Carroll for taking. He is your poll winner here at the Mountain. We will be back Monday live. Until then, guys, y'all have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you Monday live from Bathurst. Thanks, guys. Say later. Take it easy, Chris. Thanks, all guys.